take too much of your time. I'd like to uh, welcome you all. First of all, thank you very much for a job well done on the outside. Uh, it was hard conditions yesterday, and uh, we all persevered, and we got just about everything, so thank you very much. Well, I realize is that we wrapped the present. The, the present is done. Okay. Pretty cool. We're one we third of the way it's done. We're in the 16th century, so congratulations, everybody. So what? So right. I, what I want you to do is come here and walk in front, walk right in front of it, right in under it. Okay. So it's going to go all the way. And I was thinking of the lantern. At this point, it's going to come down, and that's when you'll get your distance, and you'll hear, you'll hear it coming down. You'll hear it as it's coming down, and then I start to get some distance. Yeah, you could get a little bit, just speed up a little bit to get in front of the camera. In a very simple way, all the sets are designed around the idea of a journey. So they're set up in a linear form. So, you know, um, you could say the same for Seville, starting at the door, moving through the space to the queen's cage, where the light was generated. And cut. You got the end thing too. Cut. Let's go back. Cut. Takes you to drive through the night back to Seville. Not to dawn. You get here at night. There's no shot of me riding. That's going to Celestio. Okay. And now you're here. It's nighttime yep. and it's in the middle of the night. It's about four or five hours. She's having a court. Okay. Okay. The glass is to put, we're going to put the dagger on the glass and see if the distance between the light and the dagger is sufficient to project a shadow on the map such that the, the holes in the dagger line up exactly with the, um, the pyramid. And then once the, once the holes on the pyramid line up exactly, there's a central hole that's projected, which shows the X marks the spot. The X marks the spot. They say whoever drinks of its sap and swallows <laughs> will live forever. <laughs> I tried it on three Canadian girls at work. <laughs> Most cultures have an immortality myth because no one wants to die, so they make up myths of how you can live forever. And in almost all those cultures, the immortality is tied to plants and to a lesser degree water. So there's the fountain of youth and the tree of life. Marking on the hilt. Do you see it? Is
It is a map. A map to the Mayan's greatest secret. Could it be? Could it be? Good cut. We're gonna do one more for safety. Cut. Once again. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Atmosphere is, I think, it's the most important part of cinematography and lighting, is creating the atmosphere for the film, whatever the film may be, whether it be a comedy, drama, or thriller, or whatever genre or non-genre it may be, it's, it's all about atmosphere. Yeah, the crucifix should be centered, no? The cross. Oh, no, no, no. You mean the actual cross? I don't know about up, up, down. I don't care.